Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am scrapbooking with this sketch right here. Looks like it's got lots of mixed media in the background. Um, I'm going to use some white cardstock, some mists, some photos from Creativation from last year, some jelly bean soup die cuts, Happy Planner stickers, and these uh, die cut papers. So let's see what I can do. So the first thing I'm going to do is map my photos on some black cardstock and I'm super happy uh, because now I have black cardstock to map my photos on. I ran out of it a little while ago, um, the 8.5 by 11, and I've been using up my 12 by 12. Well, that meant my 8.5 by 11 stash was depleted and now my 12 by 12 was depleted. So luckily I was finally able to buy some black cardstock in both sizes. So I am just matting them on a four and a quarter by six and a quarter photo mat. It is a smaller photo mat. I usually like to have um, a good hunk of, of photo mat because I like to see the papers that I'm using. But in this case, I felt like it just needed to be a little bit thinner. Now I originally was going to, you know, sprinkle some mists on top of my media mat but then I decided you know what Sandy you got this great little box from Ikea so why don't you just go ahead and do that so that's what I do now I am using a variety of mists um, I'll let you know which ones I'm using uh, just in case you might have them in your stash and you like the colors um, but I'm pretty sure some of these are no longer made um, I mean we know the Heidi Swap one isn't but I have this one from Little Birdie called Lime Splash, um, and then I used the uh, Tina Wakely Media Mica Spray in Lapis, and then I used the Heidi Swap Color Shine in Sweet Mint. Then I used the Nuvo Mica Mist in, what is this color called, Fresh Pear. Uh, and then I went and pulled out my Dilutions Black Marble Ink Spray and uh, did some black splatters on there as well. So I have that all uh, going, so I go ahead and set that off to the side. And then I sit there and think about how I really want to stencil print again because um, seeing the inside of that box makes me think of stencil printing. So I go ahead and grab this uh, circle paper right here. I've had this for a good long time. I have no idea how old it is, but it's it's old. It's a couple years old at least. Um, so I go ahead and layer my photos on top of that. Now I thought about, you know, cutting out a big star, cutting out a big heart, cutting out something um, just to kind of represent how it was in the sketch. But ultimately, I decided that I just wasn't feeling that. I wasn't feeling a big old shape, um, especially because I have so many shapes going on here in my photos. Now, I also pulled out my Happy Planner sticker book called Happy Place, and it is full of rainbows with pops of white and black. And you guys know that that just makes my little heart so happy. So I'm going to put this sticker on top of the black cardstock for two reasons. One, it's a very thin planner sticker. Uh, and two, uh, because I like the extra little matting of black on top of it. So I'm trying to figure out what I need to use and still pull out from the die cuts that I pulled out at the beginning. I don't use all of them. I just wanted some options so I could kind of figure out where I want it to go. Um, and that is sometimes, you know, just what I want. I just want a few options. Um, there are times where when I'm scrapbooking, I want every single option available to me and I will like rifle through and pilfer through my supplies. And then there are times where I'm like, let's contain this and have a little bit of options so I don't have to go out and look through every single little thing. Um, and my supplies are stored in a way that works the way I think about my supplies. So if you think I want something blue here, then you might as well put all your blue stuff together. Um, but if you think, oh, I want a circle here, or oh, I want a die cut here, then maybe you should store your die cuts separately. Just figure out how your mind works when you scrapbook. 
um, and then that way you can store things. And then don't be afraid to change things. Um, I'm in the midst of cleaning up and trying to change things around just because um, my kind of my kind of thought process has changed a little bit. So I want to make sure that it's easy for me to grab my supplies. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of changing up and cleaning up probably this weekend since um, I'm off. So the splattered paper is just about dry. It's not completely dry and I'm not really too concerned about it. Um, I also have the little uh, oily halos around some of the some of the splatters and I'm not really concerned about that either. I just kind of feel like that comes with the territory of mixed media and I'm okay with it. So I go ahead and place uh, these two words here, create and color. Um, and then I know I'm going to put um, some other words there. Uh, and I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. Now, I specifically pulled that die cut because of the image on the sketch over on the right-hand side. But I basically ran out of room there. And since I put my title down here instead of up at the top like it calls for in the sketch, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to put it up here and I'm not going to worry about that banner thing hanging down in the corner. Um, I don't I don't need no, you know, limpy banner hanging down. I can, I can do what I want. <laughs> so I popped that little uh, arrow thing up as well. Just because I didn't want the only thing popped up on the page to be a part of the title. Now these long stickers are fantastic and I decide to layer a couple of them. Well, I guess they're not really layered on top of each other, are they? I just decide to throw a couple of them down here underneath of the photo of the wall. And I really like it. You guys, I just, I just really like it. I have this clear sticker um, that is kind of like clear and black and then it's got a little bit of confetti kind of dots on top of it. And I just decided to put that over here on the upper right hand side of the page and adhere down a little uh, tag that says this right here. Now I'd actually pulled out that die cut because I pulled out that blue die cut over there that's hanging out on top of the rainbow. Um, but I don't end up using the hello, which is fine. So I grab the gold foil heart and a gold foil arrow and just pop that down. Um, just to add a little bit more touch of that rainbow of color. And now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, well, you know, something's got to go on the bottom, uh, like the sketches. And then also I need to finish my title because my title isn't create color. It is going to be create with color. Now I was toying with the idea of um, friends create with color, but I was like, hmm. You know, I'm playing with create with color for creativation, like a play on a creativation title. So I really didn't think that I needed to add friends. Um, and then that's where I realized, oh, all of my mists weren't dry. And poor Sharon has a little bit of oh, some Heidi Swap <laughs> sweet mint on her. So I just um, write down creativation 2020, uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And now I am trying to figure out what I want to place on the bottom of the layout. Originally, I was going to do a black and white striped washi, um, but I was like, no, I want something colorful. So I tried a straight rainbow washi, and I did not, um, I didn't like it. I wasn't feeling it. So I went ahead and grabbed this kind of dotted ombre-ish, rainbow-ish washi, and I decided to start where it was kind of yellowy green. Um, that way, you got more of the green uh, on this green and blue on this layout um, since I had a good amount of green and blue already. So there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.